bigger than your average donut coil, better flavor than that shit too, no metallic undertones, the Divine Tribe V3 Atomizer is a full melt concentrate powerhouse. Crafted for the flavor chaser over the cloud chaser, it can crank clouds too at the sacrifice of flavor, but that's your choice, not mine. I choose to use it the way it was intended. The taste is fucking splendid. I've been using one of these since they were released, so I'm definitely pleased to share it with you this holiday season. Pause and subscribe and go to INeedHemp.com because you need this. The box is on some magical 80 sticker type shit. When you open it, you'll find the V3 atomizer, some replacement screws, a mini Phillips, a dab tool, and some replacement coils. The ceramic atomizer is very well crafted. The airflow happens at the Omega and the V3. The bottom is etched with a line guarding the patent. Rightfully so, these donuts heat up more evenly than any I've seen. The atomizer has a solid weight too. The cap has a cup that gives you all the reclaim you can catch. Box mod not included and lets you purchase the kit. For this, I use a TCR value of 240, fired at 35 watts and 420 degrees Fahrenheit, and go as high as 600. Amazingly, the taste is held even at higher temps. You can really choke yourself in power mode, which is what I use for the V2 Dry Herb Atomizer, but again, flavor is the main reason that this holds the crown for me currently for wax on the go. When I fire in power mode, I usually use 30 watts and go up from there depending on strain, which is also a main advantage of these donuts over others the wide range of temps available. The easiest way to keep this clean is to fire in power mode at 35 watts and higher. You can also inhale the wax as it cooks off, but know that it'll be harsh. Turning it upside down will help loosen some of the wax trapped inside the body. All parts, including the quail, can be soaked in ISO. Wax will leak into the pulse under the donut if you overload it. I like to get the donut warm, then paint the wax onto the donut, let it melt, then hit it. This also saves the goods from falling into the middle of the quail. Cleaning should be done regularly. Burning the coil daily, deep cleaning with ISO weekly if you use it heavy. You'll love this if you're a taste hound and only want the purest tasting hits. You appreciate supporting innovators and people pushing the boundaries and bridging gaps. You want a donut that can give you low temp hits and has the ability to glow. You want a less expensive and better alternative to other donuts on the market. You strongly dislike the metallic taste of coiled atomizers. The ceramic also feels good against your lips. It's perfect for situations where discretion is key and blowing out big offensive clouds is not ideal. You also like this if you like the taste and effects of concentrates, but don't like to die in the process. You might not think this vaporizer is for you if you only care about blowing out clouds that make it look like a foggy day outside, if you have concentrates that taste like shit and would prefer not to taste them in their fullness, if you want something you can put huge amounts of wax in and go, maybe it's just easier to buy another Atmos kiln when the coil burns out, you only have traditional solid concentrates at your disposal, this won't vape them, or if you just don't have the steady hand to do maintenance on the eyeglass size screws on this device, it does need care to operate optimally. The reason I told you to check out the site is you should already be buying one. I've been using one of these for almost a year. It's awesome. The taste is great. Matt is very helpful. He also provides exceptional customer service. You won't be disappointed. It's reasonably priced, solidly built, and provides unmatched flavor. Make sure you subscribe here and Divine Tribes to stay in the loop. Thanks for watching.